Hi guys, welcome to Bookish Shayla. Today I am doing a Baby Got Scraps video, but it is combined with my Get In Shape video. And the shape this week was Chevron. And guys, I love how this turned out. I don't usually say that after I do a stencil, but I did a rainbow Chevron stencil and I'm, I'm actually really kind of proud of it. So anyway, sorry, um, I used this Chevron, um, Chevron stencil, which I'm not sure where I got it to tell you the truth. I've had it for a really long time and I didn't, I don't use it very much with stencils because it's kind of flimsy. I mean, when you're like going back and forth, it picks up these corners and it just kind of messes it up. So I pulled some Distress Oxides and I forgot to keep them out, but they were Lumberjack Plaid, Spiced Marmalade, Fossilized Amber, Shabby Shutters, and Speckled Egg. So those were the ones that I used. And I made this and it turned out so well. I just, like I said, I'm just so proud of it. Anyway, so that is my background. That's the only 12 by 12 that I'm gonna use. The rest is I have this old hot off the press. You guys have seen me, if you've watched me lately, really trying to use up my hot off the press stuff. I have so much still. I need to just keep pulling and using it, but you know, you know how that goes. But I also have this lovely chevron paper that I am for sure going to use. Um, it's only one sided. I have this green on green and it has all these icons that say BFF, hello, smile. It has some music notes, just some little doodles. Another scrap, another scrap. I have this red diamond. I have three scraps of that. And then I have this yellow um, grid, checker, whatever you want to call it. So those are the papers I'm going to use. This is my picture. It is part of my book club. Last year in, no, in July, we met at a restaurant and had book club there. And that's, there are seven of us, but only a few of us. Cause you know, summertime, it's just hard to everybody get together. But that is my picture. Then I have this strip of um, Chamel. Uh, I can't remember which collection it is, but it has these books on it, so I'm going to use it. And I have these die cuts that are also hot off the press that, I'm, that matches the collection. And then I have this Colorcast Design Book Club acrylic. So that is what I'm going to be using. So let's get going. Like I said, this is for both the hot off the press, or hot off the press, baby got scraps and um, get in shape. So I am just going to layer up, layer up my photo mats. I like to do this. I learned this from Christina Sorge. And so I just, you just start layering. Now, sometimes I tear, I don't know that I'm gonna tear today. But yeah, just take your scraps, layer, tear, cut, whatever. Um, I think I will tear this one. Just cause then I don't have to use my trimmer. <laughs> Good idea, right? Mm, how about over here? Leave that one hanging out. I hope it is Saturday. I hope everyone is having a great day. I will tell you, it is super cold. And I'm talking, um, when I started, came into my scrap room a little while ago, it was seven degrees outside. Yep, you heard me right seven degrees. I think I will use that as like a shelf. And then use some of the green. There, I have another green piece that I could use as a shelf, part of the shelf too. Um, 
let's just go like this and like this with my green and then okay so that is all the different papers that I had now will I keep this collection when I'm done with it because it's just going to be scraps um I don't know in all honesty honesty I just don't know um maybe we'll just have to see I would I don't know I don't know <laughs> Obviously, I've said that five times. I obviously don't know. Um, now, some of this, I'm not going to really have a big enough piece of scraps. So I probably won't keep that. Really, the only one that I'm going to have a very big piece of scrap is the chevron, and I don't know that I would keep that. Now, I am going to cut the stars off this because it doesn't quite match maybe if I can get it to go on my trimmer. There are times when I wish I had a guillotine trimmer for little things like that. This is one of those times. I think I'm gonna tuck this one under here like so. And move this one down a little bit like that. Over like that. Put this up there like so. Okay, so I think that's gonna be it. <laughs> that's easy. So let me start gluing down so that I can. Uh, this one, I want this down a little bit more. But anyway, yes, it is seven degrees outside. So um, I will be staying inside all day. <laughs> Luckily it's Saturday. We do not have any precipitation right now, luckily, thank goodness, because, yeah, it would be miserable if we did. I really wish that it would snow if it's going to be this cold, but, you know, my husband's a rancher, and he's the one that has to go out in it, and so he doesn't want it to snow, and I guess I understand that. I mean, he's the one that has to go check because we're calving. <laughs> Um, and you know, when you are kevving, you have to go check heifers and, you know, make sure they're okay and all that stuff. And so since he's the one that's out in the snow, I'm going to go with him and say, or outside, go with him and be like, okay, I hope it doesn't snow. Not to mention my son who is, um, oh, I cannot get this down. Okay. Hold on, let me stop talking for a minute so I can concentrate. All right, sorry. My son is, um, doesn't live here. You know, he lives, he has a job in Oklahoma City, but he is actually having to come home to home to here, home, uh, today because he is getting ready to take a trip and uh, he's actually, he's thinking about going skiing on the trip and he hadn't planned it. And so he has to come and get his ski stuff from here. <laughs> so he is going to make a quick trip back here to get that stuff. So that's another reason I'm kind of glad it's not snowing because I don't want him out and about in the snow. My daughter is in New Orleans and it there is a chance of bad weather like snow and stuff or ice tomorrow when she's supposed to come home. So I'm hoping it waits to do that after she gets back into the state and back into school, her college town, because I don't really want her to having to mess with that. So I guess what I'm saying is I'm glad it's not snowing, but most people would think, wouldn't believe that I said that because my students are always hear me say how much I want it to snow all the time, but 
Anyway, my paper keeps just moving all around. It won't stay where I want it to stay today. I'm just happy it's not an ice storm because usually when it gets this cold, that's what we get. Instead of snow or anything kind of fun, we get ice storms, which are not fun. If you've ever, if you've never been in a true ice storm, they're not fun at all. Okay, there we go. That's that. All right, so let's just tuck as many of these little things as we possibly can around. So here is a tag. Maybe instead of that, I should have this with the, yeah, changed my mind. I'm allowed to do that, right? Well, let's use my cutter. Let's just do this. Just a note like that. Okay. Then I have the bottom of this that I can tuck in. like so, and I can tuck in the tag over here, like so, okay, there's that, all right, then I have, let's see, on this one, I have this gigantic frame, I don't think I'm going to use that, I do have some cute flowers that I think I'm going to pull, and some hearts that I think I will pull, so let me punch them out, I have a ladybug. I don't think I'm going to pull it or punch it out. Okay, so there's all those pieces. So I don't think I'm going to use this, this, or this. Now on this side, there's another big label. There's three big labels on this one. I might just cut out that heart or that heart, that flower. I'm going to do that. It's a flower, not a heart. I do know that, I promise. But yeah, we will not see above freezing temperatures again till I think the middle of the week. Maybe Tuesday. I can't remember for sure if it's Tuesday or Wednesday. And we're talking, you know, teens, single digits to teens here. Okay, so I have that flower now. Um, and I have another heart here. Um, I don't know. I'll punch these out, but I'm not sure I will use them. We'll just have to see. But yeah, people have already, some schools are canceled or did a virtual day for Monday. So their kids didn't have to get, get out in it when it's so cold. But we're still going as far as, at least that was the plan yesterday. Was still, oh, <laughs> I forgot to remind. I, don't you love it when you're in the middle of something and then you remember something that you forgot to do? Yeah, that's me. I forgot to remind my students on my juniors that they have concession stand Monday. Huh. Oopsie. Whoops. Okay, so I was thinking I could put these, like, or at least one of them up here, like so. And then maybe one of the flowers behind it and then hate it. this is going to be a pretty simple page 
And it's not just because I don't have a whole lot of stuff. I just really, uh, I like the background so much that I don't really want to cover it up very much. So, so I can put this one here or down here. I think I'll do it. Do I want it down here? And then that's an awful lot of red on that red. Hmm. Might just not do this one. What if I did it? What if I, hold on, cut it like so, and then put the flowers like that behind it with the leaves. Maybe, maybe so. And then, that's an awful lot of red hearts. Why didn't they make any other color? <laughs> and the blue. And then take my book club and put it I think actually I'd rather have it down here okay all that's gonna go away and that's gonna go away and that's gonna go right here and then I think I think I'm just not going to use this because that's a lot of red. So instead, I am just going to use the um, I don't know if I'm going to use this at all. I wondered about putting it down there like that maybe. Like that. And then putting my flowers I, want, I think I want them over here. I'm sorry, guys. You're just watching me play. I hope that's okay. Making decisions. Changing my mind. This one over here too. Like that, maybe. That's an awful lot of red still. Eek. Uh um, maybe like that down. Okay, like that. I like that. Now I'm trying to decide, do I really want this? Or do I just want this flower up here? You know what? Maybe if I cut out the hearts. Let's do that. Let's see what happens if I do that. Okay. It's not the best cutting job, but if I tuck, and then the same thing here. Sorry that you're having to make me, or I'm like, can you watch this? Random just cutting. I thought this was going to be a quick video, and then I can't make up my mind, so. And then tuck this one here. Yes, I like that a lot better. Okay, so that is going to be it. Um, let me just make sure. Um... You know, I could do a binder clip here, too. Like that. I like that. Oh, I had a pink heart. I could put the pink card up here. 
like this. There we go. Hey, yeah. Okay. Um, all right, so I think I'm going to use the binder clip. I don't think I have any other stuff that would really match because most of my stuff was in the pinks last week. So I think that's going to be it of that. Um, but that's all right. I like it. Hope you do too. I think that's going to be it for me. As I said that four times already, I think that's going to be it for me, guys. Hey, one more time. I think maybe that's going to be it for me. <laughs> oh, anyway, thank you. Oh, wait, one more thing I was going to look at. <laughs> um, do I want any of this? Uh, the Good Times is cute. I don't know where I would put it, though. So, nope, none of that either. Okay, now, guys, that's going to be it for me. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. I kind of been all over the place this morning. If you happen to like this crazy video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, I am I promise I'm not always this goofy. But if you'd like to see more, hit that subscribe button down below. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys.